today is Windy Compost Sunday, so I'm going to make some compost using the new compost calculator that Nick rigged up and put on the milkwood.net site. I've got my four components. According to the compost calculator, it should all work really, really well. I'm going to give it a go. Things I have. I have a pile of weeds. I also have a pile of old straw. I have a large amount of office paper from our office sitting inside those boxes and a fairly large pile of fairly fetid foodstuffs. Mmm! Water the spot where you're going to make the pile first. This will help prevent the compost from drying out. Okay, once you've got all your components, you're ready to make the pile. Doing it in layers, a bit like a lasagna, ensures that everything gets really well mixed. Make sure you give it a light watering now and then during the layering process to keep it inhabitable for the bacteria and fungi who will be doing all the hard work for you. Don't forget to keep watering it. The secret to good compost is keeping the correct proportions of carbon to nitrogen within the stuff that you use to make the compost so that all the microorganisms who actually do the composting for you can live and multiply while they're chowing down on the good stuff that you put in the pile. The carbon to nitrogen ratio thing can be a bit confusing so Nick has knocked up a really great little compost calculator which you can use. It's on milkwood.net and it makes getting your compost ingredients right pretty darn easy. Have a look, I've used it for this pile. Now, compost making is a bit dirty and it is a bit sweaty and it is really, really rewarding as well. If you do get discouraged halfway through the pile, like I sometimes do, don't worry, just think about the fact that you're actually making soil. How cool is that? Well, you're not the only one making soil. You've got all the microorganisms that are making soil too with you, but you are helping them. That's a pretty fundamentally excellent skill to have, no? Finally, once you've made your pile, cover it over with something if you have it, an old tarp or something like that should do. This will keep the weather off it, stop it from drying out too much, stop it from getting too wet and stopping it from blowing all away. And there you have it, one compost heap. have to turn it in about four days. You think making it's the hard part, making it is easy. It's the turning that really gets me.